that was one of the artist seasons of my life because so today's video is going to be a little bit different than my typical what i eat in a day or health and fitness tips i thought i would just hop on and have a conversation with you and share a little bit more about me and why I started this YouTube journey, how it's really changed my life. As a stay-at-home mom, it's brought a lot of joy into my life. I've kind of felt like I've been missing this creative outlet for a long time and having YouTube in my life now and being able to make these videos and just share some of the passions that I have has been really transformative for me and I feel so, so happy and blessed and grateful. So what to say about me? <laughs> I'm Melanie, I am 32 years old and I have four kids. So as a little girl, when I was eight years old, I got into acting and I was always a performer since I was born, basically. So at the age of eight, I actually got an agent. So that kind of became my whole world. Um, I was in the city constantly driving back and forth for auditions, um, which is about an hour drive each way so I missed a lot of school and then once I started booking things I started booking commercials I then started booking more and more things I got into voice work so I actually did some cartoon work um, and then I landed really a life-changing role and that was in the movie Cheaper by the Dozen 2 so that transformed my life and changed everything for me it was kind of my moment. I feel like people have a moment in their life where everything changes in an instant. And that was my moment. I had the best experience of my life filming that movie. We filmed like at a resort on the water. We did like water skiing and tubing. Um, we did so many fun things. We had karaoke night with like Hilary Duff. And it was just like, I was living the dream, my dream anyone's dream really. I was kind of known as the girl who was in the movies for most of my life. Even to this day, I feel like people still refer to me as that girl. Um, although that is like way in my past now. After filming that movie, um, I still was booking some roles, some pretty cool things, but like smaller roles, nothing quite as big as Cheaper by the Dozen 2. And things just slowly got less and less and less for me in that world. Um, and then in high school, I was kind of just contemplating a lot about my life like any normal high schooler does. Um, I wanted to do fun things with my friends. I wanted to get a normal job. I made some mistakes. I dated a lot of boys that probably weren't the best for me. Some great people, some... Anyways, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I kind of hit this stage in my life where I did not know what direction I wanted to go. I felt, oh man, it was hard for me because I, I had such a high expectation from my childhood of what I could do and what I could um, accomplish in life. And, oh man, when you've lived like up here and you've experienced like the best of the best, it's hard like coming back to back to normal. And I no longer felt like I was able to pursue that dream even though I wanted to so badly, but I was out of, out of the business. I wasn't getting called in for auditions anymore. And the worst thing happened to me. Um, I was ready to pursue acting again. And I was like all in and I decided to get off of birth control. And I was on birth control mostly for my face because um, I was getting acne, so I was trying to control it and the dermatologist obviously recommended birth control. So anyways, after high school, when I got off of it, my face like erupted. Um, if I have any photos that I can find on my computer, I will share them now so you can kind of see what I looked like then. And I was just devastated, like, oh. I felt like, like the most hideous person. And oh, that was just, that was one of the artist seasons of my life because I wanted to continue with my acting, 
but I felt like it was impossible because I looked that way. So I was willing to do anything to fix my skin and, and look more beautiful, but I just felt like maybe it's all this makeup that I'm wearing, maybe if I quit my job and I just stop wearing makeup, it will go away. So I did that and nope. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Who cares? Like, I'm gonna do this anyways. Even though I feel that I look ugly and I can't stand looking in the mirror, I'm doing this. I called up my agent at the time and I was like, I really want this, what do I need to do? And they basically kindly told me, you haven't been training and we can't submit you anymore. So either go and learn, go back to school, you know, build up your acting portfolio, or like find a smaller agency that can invest more time into you and promote you out to the world. So I um, quickly transferred agencies. Um, I moved to this smaller agency and I, I remember walking in to meet my new agent for the first time and just feeling so self-conscious because I did not have beautiful skin. I get it, you're beautiful without makeup, like people say those things, but when you have really bad acne, you can't help but think that everyone is just staring at you and your ugliness. Although I know that's not true, but um, that's how I felt. So. I went to meet this agent and I actually did it without wearing makeup because I just wanted to be me. I started getting some auditions, like just a few auditions for like voice work mostly. Um, nothing crazy, like nothing crazy happened. All during this time in my life, um, I met my now husband, Thomas. I felt so loved by him. And it was like, when he looked at me, he didn't see my acne. He saw right into my heart. And I just connected with him immediately. And I knew on our first date that he was gonna be the one that I was going to marry. I stopped thinking about my acting and focused all of my attention on my new love. And we got married. And about a year later, I had my first child, which is a girl, her name's Nora, and then every two years basically after I had all the rest of my kids. And once I got married, I knew that I wanted to stay home with the kids and that I wanted to devote my life to them. And that was fulfilling to me and I felt like I was in the right place doing the right thing. So why did I do YouTube? Why am I starting my YouTube channel now? What does this have to do with YouTube? Okay. I swear, I'm gonna like bring it all back now. <laughs> I was kind of at a point in my life about six months ago or so where I was just struggling, just feeling like what is my purpose here? Like, why, why am I here? And I've had this missing part of my life that as a little girl, you know, it was, was so important to me that I haven't been able to quite satisfy in being at home. I decided to start this YouTube thing just as like a creative outlet where I can just um, share the things that I'm so passionate about and also be able to use all of these creative things that have been kind of buried within me for so long. It's just giving me a new sense of purpose in my life as a mom who's at home, you know, doing the same things every day, feeling like, what else can I do? What can I do for me and also help others at the same time? If you're contemplating starting up your own YouTube channel, I would say just go for it. You will feel, you will know if it's right for you once you start. It just gives me so much joy and satisfaction that I can still do what I used to do as a kid, but now I can do it in my own way and not have to leave and like drive to the city for auditions. Like I get to be acting in a sense, although it's, it's me, <laughs> it's just me, without sacrificing my life at home with my family. So 
thought I would just hop on and share that with you guys today and I will see you guys again soon probably with more what I eat in a days or more health and fitness stuff so anyways bye for now